Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Underrail. Oh, this guy's coming to see me here. Let's get away from his prying eyes. Anyhow, this is episode 5. It is a continuation from where we just left off in episode 4. And we are going to go and talk. Maybe kill. I don't know. I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to hope that we don't die from this. I'm going to try to talk to the guy, but there's no guarantee that he's going to allow me to do so. Hey, get out of here. This is my territory. Sorry, my bad. I'll be leaving now. I'm reclaiming this outpost in the name of the Southgate Station. I just need to take a look around. Not anymore. Uh, I'm reclaiming this outpost in the name of the Southgate Station. Haven't you vultures taken enough already? Caves belong to no station. Now, get the hell out of my home before I bolt you in your ugly face. Well, I guess we'll have to do it the hard way. Your threats are pointless. Even if you kill me, more will come, and they will be armed to the teeth. You won't stand a chance. Maybe, but they won't do you any good. Attack my children. Rip him to shreds. Oh, dear. We lost the initiative roll. But only slightly. Alright, how much health does this guy have, I wonder? 60. Maybe now's the time to break out our thro- Ooh, that's actually not very good. Alright, I'm gonna roll out and stab you once. Stab you twice. Three times. Do I get a fourth? I did. Oh, I dropped him! I am a superhero right now, and I'm going to be a superhero that runs away. Alright, that's about it for my superhero -dom. We have a lot of uh, rat doggy things to kill. Litsko and Gritsko. And they're calling for help. That makes me nervous. How powerful are these things? Well, I don't know. We're going to go after Gritsko first. And Gritsko just got Grits Recto or something. Oh, that sounds awful, doesn't it? All right, not enough action points. We're going to go over here. What is this? Pack hunting. The creature is a pack hunter. Its damage and attack skills are increased against targets that are surrounded by more of its pack. Damage increased against the target is increased by 20%, and attack skills increased by 10. Well, that is a bit unfortunate for me. I'll come over here. Hopefully burning some of his oomph. I'm not sure it's actually going to work. I wish we could change our facing at the end here. It's all right, though. Um, well, that's it. Let's end the turn and see if we survive. We should. Oh, I was so cute and adorable. He thought he was going to be able to murder me, but he's a little bit tankier than his other brethren. Not exactly accurate, though. And dead. All right, so we managed to kill the guy. Uh, probably would have been better if I just, like, rolled up on him and stabbed him, but... I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I chose poorly, I suppose. We're in a post-apocalyptic waste. We should probably not be doubting benefits or benefiting doubts or anything like that. We should just be killing things and being done with it. However, the good news is we did manage to grab ourselves a Zephyr crossbow and a steel combat knife, which is better than our current combat knife. And he had some burrower poison bolts, which thankfully we have now as well. So, there's that. Uh, problem being, the crossbow uses two hands. A pistol would have been nice, but we do have our throwing weapons. And apparently a chew toy. Which we can study for 150 experience points. I like that. Alright, we can flip on the power switch. And over here to the box, we need hacking for that. For both, in fact. We can go to the shelves. And we can grab up all that wonderful fun stuff. Let's go back into our stealth mode. And there is more to be had over this way. Oh, what is that? It's like a giant septic tank of doom. I don't know if I like that. Ooh, there's a mind shroom. That sounds exciting. I am all for mind shrooms. Let me in. This might, like, kill me, though. I don't know what it's going to do. No, oh, didn't do anything to me. All right. Well, looking around, I don't really want to use the elevator right now. Because I don't know if it's going to do something terrible to me or not. It might. It might be fine. It might be the next logical spot. I don't know. Let's just use it and see what it does. Go to the lower level. Let's try it out. Oh, we were actually in the lower level. That was pretty quick. We're going to wait until we can move stealthily. Come on. There it is. Go check out the locaire. Hey, this is actually picked that we can, or uh, locked where we can actually pick it. Yeah. Come on. There it is. 
Lock disabled. What do we have? What is that? An Omega ID card. We can get 10 of these and get 75 experience each time. I'm liking the oddities, guys. I'm glad that we went with the classics so we get stuff for, like, everything. But we also get the oddity stuff, which is pretty neat. I like that. That's a cool concept, and I suppose it would probably make the game exceptionally more difficult. But, uh, I'll take it the way it is right now. Alright, let's go peek through here. Ha! Ah, it's another cave. Which literally does nothing for me. But we're in a lower level. I don't know if this is good, bad, or indifferent. Doesn't seem like anything down here wants to eat me. Do we have, like, an overview map? Is that a thing that we have? I don't think so. Huh, I wonder what Quick Invoke means. Hmm. Locks a mechanical or electronic lock, providing you have the right key. Huh, oh, that's weird. Alright. Let's go through this, and where is this going to take us? Into the abyss. I don't, I don't think there's an abyss, but... This doesn't look familiar, but we are still stealthed, so that's a good sign. There is a ladder leading somewhere. We seem to be in the underbelly of something. Oh god, they're bad! All of a sudden, my voice has changed, and I want to talk to somebody named Alfred. I don't know why, but it just seems to be the thing. The thing to do, guys. By the way, if you have never checked out College Humor's Batman videos or Bad Man videos, you should 100% go right now after this video is over. And check out those videos. They are hilarious. If you've seen any of the new Batman movies, the Christian Bale Batman movies, you will appreciate this. In a pretty big way. They are super funny, guys. I gotta watch them almost all the time. I haven't watched them in a while, though, I gotta say. Is this... Oh, okay. Is this a dead end? Is this even gonna lead me anywhere? Alright, we have snuck up on the Rat Hound. Stab one, stab two, stab three, that's it. That's not great. Alright, we're gonna get pack molested here in a minute. I'm not looking forward to this. Yep, they're coming. Ouch. That did not feel very good. Oh, this is not go. Oh, gosh, there's so many of them. Alright, you're dead. I'm going to try to retreat to that. Not sure that I can do it, though. Alright. We're going to stop here and end our turn. You know what? I think you can actually move as far as you move, and then you actually can change your facing. I think that's what that last little bit is. So, I'll try to keep my eyes open and see if that is indeed the case. And I think I'm going to actually... I want to man up and fight these guys, but I think it's going to end very poorly for me, unless I keep up the crits. Which is exactly what I just managed to do. I'm going to go into stealth mode and hope that we drop aggro, but I have my doubts. Nope. They smelled me out or something. I don't know what happened exactly. Ooh. This is getting to be somewhat unpleasant. One, two, three. How far down are we? We're about 50% health. We can absorb a little bit more hatred. Alright, I guess that's it. Alright, well, we're going to end our turn. They're going to try to molest us completely to death. And it's getting pretty darn close. Alright, we're going to use our healing ability there. Ooh, we missed that 95%. There we go, we got the kill. We should be able to survive this next little onslaught, but it's going to be a little bit nasty, I'm not going to lie. I am not a big fan. Alright, I guess that's it, huh? Alright, well, we end our turn again. I'm getting not on on the backside, and then a couple more smacks there. We dodged a lot of it. Oh, he dodged one too. Alright, we should be able to survive one more time. Well, I'm a little concerned, but I think we've got this. Alright, one, two... Oh, I never switched over my weapon. That's right, I'm a fool, guys. You can laugh at me, mock me, do long division near me or something. I don't, it's fine. See, like, right here, we can change our facing if we wanted to. I know it's not going to do a whole heck of a lot of good, but it's something. What is this? End turn, end, end combat. One. Oops. Two, three, and done. Okay, well, we survived that, but it was not easy. It was not easy. We are at 40%. We 
have burst firing there and we have to be above 40 percent that's funny and by funny i mean absolutely terrible awful really 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 ridiculously bad let's end our turn let's go into our inventory here let's get rid of this four to eleven 60 bypass three percent for every strength above five and this one is two percent for every point above five Huh. I wonder which one's actually going to be better. Probably still this one. Maybe super late game the dagger would be better, but the steel combat knife seems to be better for now. I wonder if we gain any advantage to having one in each hand. Probably not. Base action point cost is 12. What is this one? Also 12. Critical hit chance is 12%. This one's 10. 115% bonus damage, 115. Well, we got more crit off the dagger. Uh, incurs 125% of mechanical damage resistance and threshold, but damage that penetrates the armor is increased by 25% against organic targets. And this does not actually do that. Huh. Well, I don't know. I'm not entirely certain. Well, it says that this is a, a deadly close quarters weapon against unarmored and unsuspecting targets. Maybe we can get more of a, like a, from stealth attack off with this thing. Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. We have a couple of steel daggers to lay around, or play around with here. Throw into the old mix, so there's that. Eh, well, we'll figure it out. I guess I gotta use another one of my stupid needles here. Keep me running. Definitely not something I'd want to do in real life. I'm not gonna lie. Not a big needle fan. I I don't like things puncturing my body. It's uh hmm. Not one of those things that I think a lot of people actually enjoy. Maybe, maybe there's a few weird people out there that really enjoy getting stabbed with things or needles or what have you, but I most assuredly am not one of those people. Alright, I think we may have been off track already. Like I don't think we're supposed to be where we're at right now. And this could be very detrimental to my health if I continue down this pattern or path or way or what have you. Is there a whole bunch more rat hounds out here? Because I'd rather not fight another like 12 or 6 or 5 of them or... Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, he almost found me. Alright, I think now's an excellent time to save. I'm curious, should I maybe go with a crossbow and shoot him from a distance? Could be a thing we do. Well, they seem to be losing track of me, which is pretty good. Alright, I think I'm going to roll out on him here. Alright, stab didn't seem to do any more damage than last time. Alright, well... It looks like we're probably going to get destroyed here. Let's find out. Oh, I can't end combat. I didn't want to end combat. I just wanted to end this particular battle, but okay. Okay, we're getting wrecked slightly here. Rat Hound stabbed to the face. Death? Alright. Bam, 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 and one more. Nope, that's it. Well, he dies next. It's not that big of a deal. Thankfully, these things aren't seeming to carry diseases. Oh, I just saw another rat hound over there. You guys see that? That was crazy. The thing was like, nope. You want to kill my brethren? Go right ahead, but you're going to pay for it. We're going to bandage up here. We're going to go back into stealth in just a moment's time. And we'll continue walking around killing a few fools. And then we'll hopefully get back on track. I may have to backtrack a bit too, guys. Yeah, see, there's the rat hound there. Ooh, double rat hound, in fact. I'm going to move around them for now. I'm not going to really commit 100% to killing. I don't know. This one's like rolling out on me pretty hard. Stab. 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 Oh, we missed. Oh. Could have been enough. I could have been a contender. Not really. Ah, you're running over. You can't do a whole huge amount of anything. One, two, and let's run back and around this corner. And that's going to be it. We're going to wait for you to come over. Hi, rat guy. One, two, three, four. And you lived. 
Super disappointing. Super disappointing. All right. Well, you're going to gnaw on me a bit, huh? Well, you're dead. All right. So there it is, folks. Combat has ended. We are victorious, as I'm sure you figured it was going to be a victory for us. I'm not seeing a lot of anything else, though. There's a fence over here, and there's a way that way. Hey, this might actually be an outpost. That's pretty neat. Okay, well, we'll come through here. There's another rat hound over there. And it's pi it's locked. We can pick this with our lockpicking skills. And apparently the barrel is available for us to loot and pilfer. From... it's got nothing in it. Alright, let's go inside here. There's shelves, boxes, and a power switch, and what is that? Ooh, a Molotov cocktail? Yeah, I want that. Oh, we've gained enough experience to level up, too. Sweet. All right, still no more points remaining. I want to build more people, things, and skills. Maybe it's like every five levels or something like that. All right, well, we're going to continue to our 25 here. 25 there. Again, we're going to go pretty heavily combat-oriented and stealth-oriented, and then a little bit with the rest. I'm okay with that. There we go. It's not too bad. We're not that far down. I can accept that. I still kind of want to go into here. Hmm. This seems like this is a lot of the crafting stuff. In fact, all of these seem to be crafting, so it looks like we're not going to be able to get much in the way of crafting. We're probably not going to be able to do much in the way of psionics or even a whole bunch in the way of social stuff. So, yeah, we're going to have to stick to our strength, unfortunately. Which is pretty much everything else. Um, that's fine. No new feet on this level. Well, that sucks. All right, well, I guess I can accept that and move on. All right, accept. What's left? A shelf that we have not looted. And another Omega ID card, which is going to be some more stuff. Blueprint for some leather armor. Cool. Hacking. Well, we still don't have our hacking implement. But we have turned on another station's power. And I believe we are about to do combat with a Rat Hound of Doom. And that's it, huh? That's all we have. I'm going to have to play around a little bit with the combat and see if I can't figure out... Maybe I enter combat and let him walk around before he notices me and I get a little bit more out of it? I don't know. I'm not sure what the play is exactly, guys. Alright, well... Seems like we can move around a little bit to the back side of this. Is there any point in doing so? Nope. Alright, well, it looks like we're still getting stations and things handled, so we'll go on to the next station. And while we do that, I should probably drop into stealth. There we are. And continue our wonderful, wonderful adventure. Alright, did our armor or anything break? Should I be concerned with this? I haven't checked. Hey, we're back in a place that we weren't at before. Or we were at before, rather. I'm sorry, guys. I'm losing my mind here. What is this? Um, it's still fine. How do we craft things, I wonder? We probably have to be at, like, a crafting station, I would assume. Alright, it does not look like there is... Well, let's go back this way. Maybe there's something hiding in the back. I doubt it, but maybe. Might as well take a peek. Nope. Okay, well, let's get back in here and go to the power switch. And I think we've already turned on three switches, maybe? So this will be four, and then there's the one over there, or maybe we've only done two, and this will be three and four, and then we have one to go. I'm not sure. I think an overview map would be pretty nice in this particular game, but it's not the end of the world if there's not one. Ooh, there's a junk pile over here we totally didn't loot. Let's go back and get that handled, shall we? And this will be my last recording for the day, folks. I'm looking forward to getting stuff uploaded and whatnot. It's always fun. Ooh, what is this? Fabric scraps. Well, it's not cool. 
I still want a, a hacking tool, but I don't have one. It makes me sad. Alright, run over there and turn on the power switch. Go faster. We don't need you to walk around in stealth so slowly. Or is that all five? Let's take a look at our notes. Reactivate the power generator and retake the outpost in the cave tunnels to the north. There are a total of five outposts. You need to activate at least three of them. We restored to we restored one to um sorry guys. Three one two three, sorry. We're gonna scroll through this until we see nope. Well, we know we've done at least three. I'm sure we've done more than three. In fact, I am 100% sure we've done more than three. So, what are we going to do now? I guess go this way. And that is the way of something. I don't, I don't know. Alright, it's broken. Let's uh, make sure it's all the way down. There we go. Alright. Do we... Turn is there a power switch to turn on in there? I do not believe so. I'm gonna use my arrow keys here for a second. Um I think we've done it all. Alright, so we know we did the two in there. We're gonna walk around all this stuff, guys, just to make sure there's nothing that I missed. It's very possible that I did miss something, so please be aware. Alright, so that's one, two, and three, and now we're gonna go over here through this. While we're doing that, I'm going to find my Molotov cocktail and throw it into our thing. There we go. Alright, so one, two, three, and what do we have, what do we have, what do we have? What did that just say? You are not in a controlled setting or something? I don't know what that meant, but okay. Junk pile. Oh, is that what this thing is here? You are currently in an uncontrolled zone. Setting traps or planting explosives near other characters might provoke them. Setting traps or planting explosives out of sight cannot be traced to you. Intriguing. Alright, so one, two, three, we're at four. We're gonna go take the elevator. I know, guys, a lot of backtracking. I'm pretty sure we have all five, but I don't know. You would expect that the thing would be like, oh, you've done this. Please return back. And it's apparently not gonna be a thing that happens. So we're just gonna have to keep track of everything ourselves which might cause me to do a little bit more backtracking but for now I, I'm gonna really really attempt to actually keep this on point all right was there a power switch here no this is all part of the same thing so we're still rocking what four we're still looking for that coveted number of five position here which we will probably end up finding and through the blackest night. Alright, so let's go here. And that's five. Okay, so we've discovered all five. We've turned all five of them on. Alright, let's go back, turn in the watch, turn in the quest, and break off the episode. I might break it off right after the particular, well, the particular watch quest is done and over with. Sorry guys, something popped up on my steam thing which is weird doesn't usually do that i don't know if it even popped up in the recording or not but either way it was a bit odd not gonna lie well we're gonna run on back down and turn in our quest so again i would have liked to have seen a, th a few things i would like to see in this game maybe in the future they can add this i wouldn't mind seeing like a quest objective thing even on the screen though that can get cluttered so i'm not sure i want to see that but if nothing else, I want to see, like, you did this, and then maybe it changes to, okay, I did the last mission, or the last of the things to reactivate. Let Go back and return for your reward, or something like that, you know, where it actually tracks your quest objectives. That would be pretty cool. I would like that. I would be a pretty large fan of that scenario. Alright, let's talk to Old Jones. Back again, what can Old Jones do for you, youngster? Well, I think I found your watch. Yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? You don't really want to know. In the belly of a rat hound. He quirks an eyebrow. I knew those things would devour anything but a metal watch. So, can I have it now? There are a few special items I can offer you for it. He rummages through his backpack. I've got this here powerful submachine gun. What?
what? Perfect working condition. I've set... I've got a set of healing hypos. These are good for you. And I've seen these here fine-looking boots. Look at them. They are fine. Oh, man, that's a tough call. Do I want a new pair of boots? Do I want the submachine gun? I mean, I don't really have the shooting abilities. But I'll trade it for all... I'm, I'll trade it for all of it. Maybe I should do that one. That's right, Jones. You can just have it. Well, we can give it to him. We could trade him the submachine gun. We could trade him the healing hypos, which is pretty good. The new pair of boots is really tempting as well, or I can say I'll trade it for all of it. Let's see what he says to that. That might be a bad thing. Maybe he shoots me or something. What now? You heard me. It's all or nothing. Just kidding. What were my choices again? <laughs> Well, you know what? This is a nice looking watch. I think I'll keep it for myself. Oh man, that's rough. Submachine gun seems like the, the best play, like we'd get the most out of it. But a new pair of boots would be really fantastic, but what if they're metal boots? I don't know. I am going to go with a submachine gun. Here you go. May it serve you well. Alright, well we just got ourselves a 5mm Jaguar. Or Jaguar. Alright, let's take a look at this thing. It is a small caliber submachine gun. We'll take that. We'll throw that in there. We have submachine gun ammo somewhere. We did. What happened to all the bullets that I've picked up over the course? I picked up a lot of bullets, didn't I? I could have sworn I had a lot of bullets. Oh, they're right here. Okay, I'm blind, guys. It's fine. All right. Well, let's uh, reload the weapon right there. Okay, well, we have a submachine gun now in hand in case we get things are, well, things get a little bit dicey, we'll say. All right, let's, uh, let's barter with you, old man. I kind of wanted the pistol, but that's cool. That's cool. Um, did you have the, the hacksaw? You do, and it's actually pretty cheap. Let's grab that. Um... I think I'm going to trade you... Will you actually trade me the stupid glove? Nope. We'll auto-do it. Trade. Why won't he buy the glove? I don't get it. Whatever. I'll, I'll trade it. Alright, there we go. But we have zero energy. Do you sell batteries? You do. You do sell some lithium batteries for a ridiculously high amount of cash. I don't want that. I would like this. And I want just like... Two, maybe? I actually don't even think I'd afford two, to be honest. Oh, I can. Okay. Well, we'll trade that out, and then we will charge up... What is this? Uh, recharges the currently equipped energy-based weapon. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and bam, recharged. And now we can put that on our tool as well. We may end up making another trip back un into the underground to check out all those boxes and see what we can get from them. But either way, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had some fun. If you did, I will probably be back with one more episode before Christmas. Maybe one more episode on Christmas. I don't know. I'm not sure. And then, gosh, I have no idea. I'll be back. I'm going to probably get, like I said, somewhere between 10 and 15 episodes in by the new year. So... You guys should be pretty solidly into the series by then, and hopefully you guys are still enjoying everything. Either way, folks, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.